how I can recover a sense of what that first Eucharist might have been like. That first night when Jesus took the bread and He took the cup. That last night when He did those things for those whom He loved so much and who followed Him so long. You know, it's, it's, it's very familiar to us. If we watch each other as we come and, and receive the sacrament today, as we watch uh, Bishop Pink and I celebrate the Holy Mysteries, uh, it's custom. It's something that we do uh, with our own particularity in our own ways. But the first time, the very first time, there's none of that. Like, you know, Andrew might have poked Simon and said, what's he doing? I what did he just say? It would have been so unfamiliar, so strange. Why is he doing this? In that anxious moment, feeling all those things. Jesus took the bread, blessed it, and said, this is my body. Do it in remembrance of me. John may have said, remembrance, you're here. Took the cup, blessed it. So this is my blood of the new cup. Drink this in remembrance of me. Matthew might have said, I don't like this size of blood. What does all of this mean? Plus 2,000 years later, we, we have a sense, maybe, of what it means. Maybe of what Jesus was trying to tell us in that, that first Last Supper. What does it mean to us today? And, and we gather here today, you all, all y'all, uh, I know, I know, it comes out. Uh, I, I did not pick that up in New England, by the way. Uh, because you have a sense of what it's all about. 